morning, everyone. I'm being kind of quiet because it's kind of still early in the morning. I work midnights and my schedule is so messed up. I'm going to get me a cup of coffee and maybe head out to the shop for a little bit. And I just wanted to give you a little background. You know, I work the night shift 10 to 6 and supposedly my days off are Thursday and Friday. So yesterday, or actually it was a couple days ago, I went into our local hardware store and they had freezers on sale. So I bit the bullet and we bought this one because we've been dealing with this little one and it's it's just like it's packed <laughs> and stuff tends to get lost down in there and we're gonna the plan is we're gonna keep this one for long term unless uh, our daughter needs it. I know it's an upright but for us it'll be easier to organize it's kind of the issue with this one here. I mean, there's, I call it no man's land down in the bottom. Uh, it tends to get forgotten about down in there. Because we got some plans starting springtime, of what we kind of want to do. I'm heading out to my shop. But it's definitely cold out here. Hopefully it's warm inside the garage. This has been a project that I've been working on for a little while. Friend of mine, good friend. So I need to I need to get something done on it. With this cold weather though, it's been a little hard getting out here. I gotta get this garage straightened up today. Well, I can garage shop. I mean, we've never parked our cars in here since we moved in. Some fire going. So right now it's uh, a little bit after four in the morning. My sleep schedule's all messed up. Can't make too much noise out here because we are in suburbia. When the when it's daylight out, I'll take you outside and show you how close we are to our neighbors. It suited us well for the 20-something years we were here and we raised all our, our daughters. But it's time for us to get what we want. So that, that's our goal. We're working on getting debt free. Uh, we're pretty good at that right now, pretty set in that area. What I want to do is purchase before I sell this one because our next home is going to be our forever home. And I got some plans for it. Uh, we really want to lay it out the way we want it, not the way somebody else originally designed it. I'm trying to talk Melissa into doing a, an about us video so give a little more in-depth explanation of who we are and what our goals are and where we came from and you know family wise and you know, her family's down in Mississippi uh, my dad's side is all in Alabama so we got, a, we got a little bit of southern roots running through us it's time for me to get cleaning this place up a little unorganized right now and I don't like that kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. Another project over here for another friend. Got a lot of those stacking up. I've been told that I need to learn how to say no. But in all reality, I, this, this is my escape zone. But I really enjoy coming out here. This is kind of, I can come out here and my worries go away. You know, I, I love, I enjoy working on metal. This has been an ongoing project with my friend, and I'm finishing off the, the chop on the top. We're doing a sliding rag top, so right now what I'm doing is I place the frame up there, and I'm working all the sheet metal in around it, trying to get it set right. And then I'll, I'll body work it, and we're gonna, I'm gonna put it into primer, then he's taking it back, and he's gonna set up drivetrain in it get it so it's a roller, possibly even have it running, and then we're going to blow it apart and paint it. So This is this used to be what I did for a living. Well, I did collision work. This was kind of our side thing. I really like to do it for myself. I have several projects. We all have projects. One of them is my first car I've ever owned since I was 15. I still have. I'm pretty close to, to finishing up my responsibilities on this for at this stage the plan is, is 
when this leaves I pull in my project and get it a roller but it all depends on what happens with our future property and that's something that the two of us have been working on really hard I went into a little bit with it we'll go into a little bit more <laughs> again when I can get Melissa to sit down with me and do an introduction video we'll see how that goes she's an excellent cook too and I've been trying to catch her on, on video and I don't want to push her she enjoys it, but it has to be her decision. Stick around. She'll be on sooner or later. But I kind of left this place in a shambles last time I worked out here, so it's time to get it straightened up. You work easier when things are organized and you know where everything goes and everything has a place. Roscoe! So I just got the call from work. I will be doing freeze protection tomorrow. So I'm going to prep me some boiled eggs. Melissa made chicken dumpling soup, so I'm going to bring that along with me. Go in tonight at 10, and I got to work through till tomorrow afternoon at 2 if nothing occurs. If something occurs, then I'm there. The it's one of the reasons why I'm going to prep some food because I really don't want to be eating the choices that are down there and there's only two and one of them is the big uh, golden arches. Don't get me wrong, I like french fries but I'm trying to stay away from that stuff. I mean we've made a decision to, to be a little more aware of what we're eating and what's uh, on packages and you know this is why we we source our eggs local. We've got some chicken eggs. I'm going to scramble me up some duck eggs this morning. These are awesome by the way. Uh, Melissa made some corn muffins last night and we got some dehydrated kale. I'll bring that with me too. We did that with a little bit of garlic salt. Actually it's really good. Thanks for spending the morning with me. Give you a little glimpse of what's going on. I'm gonna get this stuff put away and uh, maybe go back out in the shop for about an hour or two but I need to get some rest. It's gonna be a long weekend I think. The way they were talking, which is good. I don't mind. I mean, I got stuff I want to do around my house, but you know, ultimately this will get me to where we want to be. Hey, Roscoe, what are you doing? You want to go outside? No, Dad, it's too cold. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the bell for update. Leave me a comment. I like comments. And if you like this, hit the like button. Have a good day.